Hi guys, in today's video I am super excited because I have here with me my package from Urban Decay. This has the Game of Thrones makeup in it and uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing and some swatches and I am so excited. So alright you guys, let's go ahead and get started. You guys, so as you can see, I haven't even opened this. I wanted to open this here with you guys. Okay, so I have scissors and the box and I'm just going to carefully try and open this up. That works. And I'm just going to do the other part down here so I don't cut myself because you got to be safe. Okay. Ah, there it is. Ooh. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, wow. So for those of you that don't know, Urban Decay collaborated with Game of Thrones. And uh, this is their eyeshadow palette. This one retails for $65. And um, as you can tell, I am super excited. Oh my gosh, let's get it out of the box. You guys are going to see it first. Okay, what's it look like? Oh, uh, it looks like the... It looks like the front. Okay, so this is the front of the palette. These are the sides and then the back. Should I open it this way or this way? I don't know. We're just going to open it. Okay. It says Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. This one's on top. Then that one's on top. And on and on it spins. Crushing those on the ground. Daenerys Targaryen. I have my own Iron Throne, you guys. I can be the queen of the seven kingdoms of my house. <laughs> this is definitely like a collector's item. If you love makeup, if you love Game of Thrones, I feel like maybe you, if you got this, you would be as excited as me. Okay. Okay, those are the first four. Oh my goodness. I do not want to drop this. I think the whole thing comes out, right? Let me see. Let me hold it like this, you guys, so I don't drop it. Yeah, the whole thing comes out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so is there anything else in there? I'm like looking for secrets in there. <laughs> okay, so here is the eyeshadow palette itself. Um, the packaging is as you guys saw pretty big and bulky but I'm not I'm not gonna go anywhere and travel with this I'm not gonna risk it getting harmed in any way so to me the packaging is not an issue I'm really happy and excited that they did it the way they did but you guys look at these shades these look so pretty wow Ooh, this one up here called take the black that looks really really nice Today for me, it is Saturday, so the third episode of the last season comes on tomorrow, and uh, you guys, winter is here. I am ready, but I am not ready because I feel like so many characters are going to die, and the back is just nothing, <laughs> um, but okay, I do not want to damage this. But yeah, you guys, we're going to do some swatches in a little bit. I want to show you guys the other makeup that I got. So I'm just going to put this to the side and we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay, you guys, so I am also very excited about this. I mean, I'm excited about all of it, but this is the Mother of Dragons Highlighter Palette. So you guys know I love me some highlights and I had to get the highlight from the Mother of Dragons. How can I not? So, okay, let's go ahead and get it out. Ooh, that looks pretty. It's like a dragon's egg. Oh, wow. Okay, I opened it. I opened it upside down. But look at it. Oh, that's so pretty. But yeah, I'm excited to do some swatches of these too. So we'll do that in a little bit. So the last thing that I got was this lipstick. You know I had to get a lipstick. And this one I got in the shade Daenerys Targaryen. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up. I don't want to hurt it or rip it or anything. 
Ooh, okay, so this is the packaging. And let's go ahead and get it out of here. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It has the Urban Decay logo and then it says Game of Thrones right there. So I really like the little details. I think this is pretty, pretty cool, you guys. So, ooh, this is pretty. Like here in person, you can see like little sparkles in the lipstick. This is like an orangey red lipstick. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to like play around with all of these, you guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the prices for the rest of these. So the highlighter palette is $36 and as you saw it does come with three different shades and then the lipstick is $19 and they have different shades as well um, I was only able to get this one they have um, eyeliners they have more lipsticks they have um, eyeshadow brushes they have one in the shape of Aria's sword needle and then they have Jon Snow's long claw so they have those and then I think they have like a cheek stain um, thing. I've, I don't think I've ever used one of those so I'm not very familiar with that but yeah I think they have that as well and yeah that's pretty much it for the whole collection let's go ahead and do some swatches so I'm going to start by sections um, so I'm going to do this first did I put a dent on it? Okay, no, I thought my I thought my nail put a dent on it, but it didn't. We're good. We're okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with uh, these five, and then these, and then these, and then these. So first we have take the black, and that is what that looks like. And as you guys already know, my swatches are horrible. They're crooked. <laughs> I don't do very good swatches, but because I want you guys to see what these look like I am doing some swatches and because I want to see what they look like too so yeah I'm sorry that they're not the best okay so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to frozen north oh that looks so pretty on my finger okay there it is wow that is so such a pretty shade a very very beautiful blue oh my goodness all right so next up we have white walker so there it is oh that is that is a very interesting shade like on the light it's like i would say that it's mostly shimmer but it has like a blue undertone to it I don't know if like you guys catch that on video but that's very pretty so moving on we have free folk and this looks like it's going to be like a metallic silver so there it is also very pretty all right so moving on to the next shade we have hard home so I'm gonna swatch this one right here this one has more of like a peachy undertone and it like the way it shines when the light hits it it's just so so pretty so we're gonna move on to the next section and we're gonna start with Nymeria so this is your usual matte brown shade there it is all right so moving on to winter is here there it is just add a little bit more this one definitely reminds me of Jon Snow it just does and also Arya I don't know why but it's what comes to mind <laughs> okay this next one I feel like I'm pronouncing wrong and if I am I'm sorry I do have trouble pronouncing some things but um, this next wall next wall See, I'm thinking about the wall, but they already made it past the wall, and winter is here, and everybody's going to die tomorrow, and I am not ready, you guys. I am not ready. Okay, anyways. So this next shade is called Weirwood Leaves, I think. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Ooh. I love, like, the way these look. Like, when the light hits them, they just look so, so pretty. We're not even halfway done. 
my arm look at my arm oh my goodness okay well, I'm excited for this next one this is like this looks like a very pretty green color it's called the sight so there it is very pretty very pretty and then the last one from this section not from the whole palette from this section is Winterfell I did a pretty bad uh, job at the beginning here, but <laughs> there we go. That one definitely reminds me of Sansa. So from here, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and get started on the other arm because this is only half. You guys, I'm left-handed, so these are about to be even worse than these. I'm sorry. So we have Red Keep. There it is. So we're going to move on to Casterly Rock. There we go. Hope you guys can see that one okay. Next we have House Lannister. There it is. I feel like this would make a really nice transition shade. Alright, so moving on to Lannister Red. Oh, that was a really bad swatch. What even? <laughs> Let me try and fix that. I don't know what happened. I need someone to come and let me do swatches on them so that this doesn't happen. Alright you guys, so I tried to make it better but it just got bigger. So that one is called Lannister Red. It's not a bad shade. Um, if it looks bad, it's my fault, not the shade's fault. Alright, so moving on to King's Landing. Ooh, that's really pretty on the finger like a light gold with shimmery gold shimmers <laughs> my descriptions are great <laughs> so moving on to the next section I'm gonna start with Stormborn and we're gonna swatch this one right here can you guys see that yeah so we're gonna swatch Ooh, I just want this all over my lids I like that one a lot so moving on we have House Targaryen so let me try and swatch that one right here. There we go. Here is Dothraki. Ooh, this one is interesting. I feel like they definitely have a lot of like gold going on in this collection. And I like it. I'm here for it. I like gold. Ooh, bend the knee is beautiful. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this this is really nice. That is so pretty, you guys. So it's purple, but it has like blue shimmers. So it looks really, really pretty. I really like the way that one looks. And the last shade is called Bay of Dragons. And that one, we're just gonna swatch right here. Alright you guys, I really hope the camera is picking up like the really pretty colors that these shades have, especially like the shimmery ones, which is most of them, <laughs> um, because these look really pretty in person. But alright you guys, let's go ahead and do some swatches of the Mother of Dragons highlighter palettes. So I'm just gonna do them right here and hopefully they look okay. So here we have Drogon. As a highlight, I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, I just... <laughs> I was about to say, as a highlight, I don't know if I would wear it. But I just look at it here on the mirror that I have in front of me. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. If there's blue highlight, then I can have pink highlight. I saw on one of the videos from Urban Decay that they used this shade on the model, like on top of blush. And uh, it looks really pretty, so... Yeah, that's what this one looks like. Moving on, we have Viserion. So we're just going to put that right there. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm already wearing highlights, but I want to see what this one looks like on top because it's just so pretty. So let me see. Ooh. Okay. I really hope the camera catches. 
how pretty this is. Alright, so moving on to the last shade. Ooh, that's nice and bronzy. I almost forgot the lipstick. And this one, um, like I said, they do have different shades. But the one I chose, of course, is Daenerys Targaryen. So let's go ahead and do a swatch of this one because... It looks very pretty so I'm just what should I do this watch there it is Wow that is a beautiful red and like it doesn't look glittery or anything like that it just looks like a very pretty uh, lipstick with like maybe some gloss to it but that's because of all the really pretty like little shimmers that you can see on the lipstick itself but like on the skin it just looks like a glossy lipstick um, I can't wait to try this out. I feel like um, the formula is going to be amazing. And that's it for the swatches, you guys. That's it for the unboxing. If you made it to this part of the video, if you're still watching, comment a dragon emoji. Let me know. But all right, you guys, that is everything I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Everything's frozen in the north. <laughs> Everybody's probably gonna have this in their Game of Thrones video, but I don't care because I had to. <laughs>